Well, good morning, church. It's Pastor Jason Clue here coming to you live from outside of my house. I'm getting ready to go to work. It's uh, the early hours of Wednesday morning, uh, preparing myself for the day. And all this past week, I've been thinking about Pentecost. Pentecost is the event. It's actually a feast in the Old and New Testaments that talks about what it was like for 50 days past uh, Passover. And it's the feast in the New Testament where the disciples gathered together in the upper room as Jesus told them to wait and tarry for each other and wait for the promised one, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, which is actually more accurately interpreted the Helper, not just the Comforter, but the Helper, the one who comes alongside and helps us in, in times of need and helps us through everything in our life and, and empowers us and enables us. And Jesus told his disciples that if they would wait for him, he would fill them with power from on high and that they would do exploits and they would do even greater things than what he did. And I've been processing those things this week, knowing that there's a part of me on the inside that feels like we're putting God on trial on Sunday. And that's that's something I've been warring against on the inside because that's not my intention. That's not what I believe uh, we're doing this past, this coming Sunday. I am saying that I believe that we need to step in faith. I believe that as a church, as Christians, as people, we need to be people who live in faith and not just expect God to do the miraculous, but for us to partner with him. And the Bible tells us that if people are sick, that if they're needy, they need to come together and ask the elders of the church to pray lay hands on. And we heard this past Sunday that laying hands on people is not just a, a symbolic thing. It's actually a transference thing. It's something that the Bible tells us that as we do, that we have been given the spirit of life, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, dwells and lives and, res and resides inside of us. And so God tells us that when we lay our hands on people, that we're transferring that same power, that we believe that what comes from us goes to other people. Not because there's any power or there's any special thing in us, but because it's God. And I believe that this coming Pentecost Sunday in a few short days, God's going to transform people's lives. I know that um, it's something that I've said to you many times and I think is very important to remember. God is not responsible, or sorry, we are not responsible for God's response to our faith. God is responsible for it. We are responsible for faith. God says that we cannot please him without faith. It also says that faith, even the side of a mustard seed, and if you think about mustard seed, it's one of the smallest seeds. But when you actually process it, and if you were to do some research, you would discover that inside one little mustard seed are thousands of other little seeds. And all we see is that little mustard seed ball. But when we plant a mustard seed, the, the germination power in a mustard seed is incredible in comparison to what it produces. And there's so many different allegories and so many different symbols attached to what a mustard seed is. But the point that Jesus was trying to get across is simply that it's not really about our faith as much as it is about the one that we have faith in. And we are putting our faith in the Creator, the one and only true God, the Yahweh, the I Am that we're going to talk about this summer. And we've been, we've been believing as a church for breakthrough. And I want, you to, I want to ask you to partner with me this weekend as we head into Pentecost Sunday to believe for God to do great things. Maybe you want to take a few moments, maybe one meal or, or some time to pray or a meal to fast. Maybe you'd just like to pray through some of the needs that you know may be there. And as you look around and you see your neighbors and you invite your friends and your co-workers, I want us to believe that God wants to do the miraculous. It's what we heard about this past Sunday. We believe that we want God's kingdom as it is in heaven to come to earth. And I know that that's not always going to be perfect and it's not always going to look the way that the ways that we want it to look. But I do believe that Jesus wants to do incredible things. And so I'm asking you to partner with me and to believe with me for this coming Sunday that God would transform lives, that he would bring healing into people's body. He would restore people's emotions. He would do miracles in relationships because I don't just believe it's it's physical. I believe that God wants to do things in relationships. And so maybe this coming Pentecost Sunday, as, as you're getting ready for it, and, and you would say that maybe I don't have any physical needs or any special needs that are on the surface, but maybe there's a relationship that's broken. Maybe you would come Sunday and, and God would bring healing to that, or maybe he would begin to bring healing in your heart first so that it can lead you to bring healing to the relationship. Maybe you'd come and we just want to uh, to have a time that we can pray for you so would you come believing with me? I believe that God wants to do great things. And I believe this is one of the beginning steps as we celebrate Pentecost. Pentecost is a feast that God is involved in. He mandated it. It wasn't something we came up with. It was God's idea to begin with. It's also God's idea to heal. And he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And not just for our sins so that he could take the punishment and bring healing to our bodies. 
So would you agree with me? I thank you so much for our church and I believe in you. Thank you for what you do all day long as you're in your workplaces today. I pray for you regularly. May God be glorified. May he be magnified. And this weekend, may we see him be evidenced in everything that's said and done on Pentecost Sunday. God bless you. Have a great week. We'll see you Sunday morning. Let's believe for God to do the incredible, miraculous, even above, more than we can imagine or think. God bless.